हाय अतुल एम आई ऑडिबल यस सुशांत नाउ यू आर ऑडिबल ऑसम थैंक यू हाय चाइल्ड री थैंक्स फॉर जॉन थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग टुडे हे थैंक्स फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी या आई नो इट्स इट्स टू लेट फॉर यू and but uh, thank you so much for accepting our invitation it, it's and, either that or it's too early i'm i'm not sure which one <laughs> <laughs> so what's the time now at the... it's uh, 12:25 <laughs> okay it's too late <laughs> and uh, i'm actually asleep i'm sleepwalking <laughs> I might do something to wake myself up at the beginning of the presentation. <laughs> okay. It's a good to have a coffee. <laughs> no, then I'll be up all night. Okay. <laughs> By the way, your mustache is looking <laughs> super cool. <laughs> my wife my wife says it looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i saw your twitter uh, post uh, related to that <laughs> oh my gosh is it december yet she's saying that every day is uh, it december yet so do you like my uh, trailhead dx india shirt yes you were there right yes yes uh, yeah. I, i think we, we met right yeah we met there me and sagar uh, uh, met with you and we had a chat a quick chat and uh, yeah i i got some pictures from that in here in my presentation i'm just going to show pictures that's all i'm going to do for my presentation i'm not going <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to no worries no worries yeah, it's uh, again uh, it's a uh, time of festivals uh, here in india as well uh, last week we celebrated a grand festival of diwali festival of lights right so now everyone here as well uh, in a mood of joy uh, okay so again uh, we also want to have a uh, and uh, it's and we are so lucky to have you because you are one of the jolliest person in a, <laughs> an entire trailblazer community so that's why okay. well, uh, i appreciate that thank you for the kind words <laughs> so definitely we want our uh, uh, interactive session today so let me tell you uh, charlie uh, uh, this uh, we as a team uh, organize this impact sales for saturday sessions every week uh, from one year we never miss a session uh, or we never miss a saturdays even uh, we have uh, like uh, we have scheduled uh, uh, too many sessions so that we have to conduct few sessions on sundays as well so tomorrow we also have one session uh, wow. relate, uh, related to einstein analyti analytics and uh, so yeah our team here uh, yeah, you mean you mean tableau crm no uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah we are, we are we renamed it yeah we are actually uh, in in past we uh, we completed couple of uh, a series uh, uh, one on pardot and uh, lightning web components uh, einstein ai series uh, and uh, where we invited uh, speakers from uh, throughout the world the einstein ai champions and uh, recently we uh, we had uh, two sessions with eric eric dreshfield and uh, we are pa and uh, uh, in uh, in the upcoming months uh, we also schedule few sessions on architect architect series uh, with mira and uh, yes we are planning further more sessions in 2021 uh, very cool yeah so how can i follow that i can't there's no way i could hold a light to uh, those those people that were that were presenting before although they had to um that's pretty good they had to they had to present it at uh, 12:30 in the morning too <laughs> right right so i uh, usually uh, see i uh, usually uh, we conduct our sessions uh, at uh, uh, 11 am uh, ist time 
yeah. uh, which which means around uh, yeah you are right around 9:30 or 10:30 a.m. EST. Okay, uh, but uh, uh, like uh, if if like uh, that's good uh, if we uh, we are planning for one one day session. But if let's suppose uh, if a speaker is from some uh, uh, different time zone and we have to uh, we are planning to have a series of sessions, then definitely uh, 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 it's up to the speaker uh, in which uh, uh, like time slot uh, they are uh, good to. Uh, give their session so we can uh, we can uh, have accommodate uh, that thing uh, according to our speakers mm -hmm. cool. all right so let me share my screen and uh, we really quick uh, uh, participants are started to join we will wait for uh, one or two minutes uh, more and uh, then we will uh, start meanwhile so charlie uh, uh, usually what format uh, uh, we use in our session so i will share my screen first and then i will uh, walk through our part participants like what the session all about and uh, a, a few things about you okay and uh, then uh, who we are the new delhi developer group and then i will hand over the stage to you and then you can go ahead with your session great sounds good okay All right, so let me share my screen. Please let me know if you are able to see my screen. Uh, let's see. Yes, I can see it. Awesome. All right. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining today's session, uh, guys. Uh, uh, today uh, we have a, a very special uh, guest with us, uh, Charlie uh, from Salesforce. Um, hi, Charlie. Hi there. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for joining, Charlie. Uh, Thanks for inviting me. So. Uh, Quick uh, intro of Charlie, the guy says Charlie is from a Salesforce. He's a chief technical officer for customer con uh, connections. And uh, uh, he's also uh, known as an IoT guy at Salesforce. And uh, I think uh, uh, everyone knows Charlie in the uh, trailer community. He's one of the jolliest person here. Uh, <laughs> you always see Charlie smiling uh, in every post he shared, uh, always, uh, try to uh, make everyone smile in trail the community and if uh, you got a chance to meet charlie in our trailer dx19 uh, held in india uh, last year so definitely you see how charlie uh, making uh, smile on everyone faces while, while uh, uh, he uh, communicate with uh, everyone so this is a one uh, this is one of the important attributes in in uh, in he, uh, him uh, that makes everyone smile. So thank you so much, Charlie, for uh, 
spreading happiness uh, in our uh, trail user community thank you for your kind words appreciate yeah. it all right so guys today we have a uh, planned a session on iot and how uh, uh, other emerging technologies are uh, helping uh, you can use in salesforce uh, in order to take uh, the salesforce technology on a next level so charlie will uh, will uh, go uh, go through this uh, topic in today's session before starting uh, let me uh, 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 so i am a, i am your host for today's session i am sushant uh, i am a senior software engineer in ncr corporation and leading uh, this uh, new delhi developer group uh, since uh, last 6 months uh, i am a creator and founder of talent central uh, also a lighting champion and general to salesforce mentor and uh, i am in salesforce domain since the uh, last 3 years a few initiatives uh, new delhi uh, developer group is running uh, from last of 5 uh, years uh, so th these are uh, uh, all of them so so who we are so we are a new delhi salesforce developer group we comes in existence in uh, early 2016 uh these are uh, our few uh, social media links uh, you can follow us on twitter uh, this is our official twitter hashtag uh, hashtag impact salesforce saturday uh, and uh, we also have our trailblazer community group uh, this is our short bitly url uh, you can use that and we uh, uh, along with that we also have our new delhi official website so you can visit over there and uh, where you can find our uh, past sessions uh, we have conducted uh, in the back and also you want to know about our upcoming sessions uh, which is going to happen in in future as well so the one of the initiatives uh, initiative what our team is it uh, majorly focus on is impact sales for saturday so it's a series of online webinar sessions and um, previously it, it also known as a virtual sales for saturdays uh, but now uh, but we have rebranded it and now we are uh, calling it as a impact sales for saturday so with this initiative uh, we try to come up with a new topic uh, in salesforce uh, on every saturdays saturdays or now even on sundays as well uh with our awesome speakers uh we majorly focus on to uh conduct a series of sessions not uh, on a single session so that uh, participants can learn a particular topic in salesforce from end to end so these are some our links so you can uh, links for our past sessions as well as for up upcoming sessions talent central so guys talent central is one of the newest uh, initiative uh, our team brought in trailblazer community so it's uh, you can uh, uh, take this as a monster.com or indeed.com where uh, you will uh, register your profile and uh, looking for jobs so talent central have something unique in it uh, it's it's specially a job portal for uh, fr student fresher students uh who want uh, to look their career in salesforce ecosystem so uh, this is a open portal uh, if you are a student and looking for a career in salesforce you can register themselves here and uh, if you and uh, along with that uh, if you are a uh, hr and if you or you are or you are hr from a partner uh, company of salesforce or your company is entirely working upon salesforce and you are uh, you are needing a freshers uh, for your company then you can register here and uh, you can hire uh, freshers directly from this portal so this is a url for our website talentcentralglobal.com uh, go there and register themselves mentorship central so mentorship central is one of the oldest uh, initiative uh, our new delhi developer group brought and so this is again a matchmaking site uh, where uh, if you are expert in salesforce domain you can register yourself as a mentor and uh, you can choose your mentee uh, so that uh, you can guide them uh, throughout their learning journey uh, uh, at the same time if you if you are looking for a mentor or guide uh, who will guide you 
through your uh, salesforce learning journey then uh, definitely you can register yourself as a mentee and uh, try to reach out to as many as uh, mentors you can and then when you have a match uh, then uh, your mentor will guide you how to uh, uh, from where you have to, you have to start your salesforce career and uh, along with that he also guides you uh, through your certification uh, uh, things as well and uh, also uh, he also uh, he or she also uh, try to aware you about the new things coming up in salesforce so this is again one of the beneficial website you can uh, uh, leverage it and uh, make your career in salesforce general salesforce uh, initiative so this is not a new delhi salesforce developer group initiative it's a uh, our indian dev and developer relation team initiative uh, so journey to salesforce is basically a official program running by our dev relation team here in india residing in hyderabad uh, so this uh, this particular uh, uh, initiative is basically a two step uh, process where you have to complete a, a set of trail mixes and along with that uh, uh you will get a chance to win a certification voucher so that you can have your own uh, first uh, salesforce certification and along with that uh, if you are eligible then uh, uh, delegation team also conduct a employer connect at every uh, month and 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 then uh, there you will get a chance uh, to participate in recruitment drives where uh, different uh, partner uh, companies of salesforce uh, will join uh, this employer connect program and um, they will hire uh, the participants who who take part in journey to salesforce initiative and so one one of the more important thing as well is like as soon as you are uh, going through the trail mixes and you are completing them uh, then uh, you also get lots of swags and goodies from uh, uh, salesforce uh, developer relation team as well and uh, uh, as i told you at the end of uh, that if you are lucky then you also got certification vouchers salesforce dev relation team also brought a, a weekly newsletter every week uh, so do check out uh, uh, their weekly newsletter and in that newsletter you also got uh, got lots of thing to know what what is trendy and what is happening right now in trailblazer community so again uh, a useful resource to check out these are some of our uh, channels on which uh, we are active uh, new uh, new delhi developer group official website mentorship central uh, we have also our youtube channel uh, where we have uploaded all the sessions uh, we have completed and uh, twitter uh, we also on twitter our entire team uh, are active on twitter uh, if you have any queries or any suggestions Uh, or you have any doubts then definitely you can reach out to any of us any one of us uh, on twitter or linkedin as well uh, we also have our dedicated telegram group uh, so i would suggest uh, do join this telegram group so that you can get instant updates about our our upcoming sessions or our initiatives as well at last uh, i would like to thank our sponsors cloud vandana and grey opus uh, without them arts in uh, it's very hard uh, to manage all the things uh, what we are up uh, uh, doing uh, here in our new delhi sales for developer group and again uh, at the same time uh, all credit goes to our uh, all lovely speakers uh, without them also this impact impact sales for saturday series uh, or sessions are not possible so thank you everyone uh, and uh, again uh, on the same time participants are again playing a major role for making this uh, initiative a successful in trails by community so kudos to everyone who is participating in this initiatives and uh, taking it to the next level so that's all from my side uh, over to you uh, charlie stage is your okay great so um before i get going i said i was going to shave off my mustache if we didn't have uh 20 people how many people how many participants do we have uh oh we have 20 okay good good okay no problem we have at least 20 <laughs> that's good i don't have to shave it off this is my movember look do you like it don't answer that but <laughs> okay but my, my my wife uh <laughs> we wake up every morning my wife says is it december yet is it december yet so uh here it is 
uh, it's going to be gone though in December. So uh, I'm also wearing my, uh, does anybody recognize this shirt? No, oh, yeah. Okay, this is my uh, Trailhead DX India shirt, right? Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Let's get into it. Uh, hold on, let's see. Share screen. Hopefully nothing incriminating will come up. It happens all the time. Uh, let's see. Okay, ready? Here we go, full screen. So hi, I'm Charlie. As was mentioned, thank you for the uh, kind inter introduction, Sushan. I, I try to, I'll try to meet your expectations for being uh, jovial and jolly. And it's easy to be joyful. Uh, by the way, happy holidays, everybody. And it's easy to be joyful uh, when you have so much to be grateful for. And I am truly blessed. So um, if you want, to uh, be offended, you can follow me on Twitter. There's my Twitter handle. And if something looks interesting and you have follow-up questions, there's my email address. Or you can don't try not to direct mess message me on Twitter because a lot of things get buried and I can't see them very well. But anyway, so I work for um, a guy named Peter Coffey. Uh, have you ever had Peter as a speaker? By the way, this is supposed to be interactive, right? You need to get Peter Coffey as a speaker. He's amazing. He'll blow definitely. you away. Yeah, definitely. We, we plan to have a session with Peter as well. Yeah, so he, you got to get him up at 1230 in the morning. <laughs> okay, so we we call our group the uh, Salesforce St Strategic Research Group, and he came up with a slogan, we don't predict, we reveal. So anyway, and then we, we have this, let's see if I can get this thing to fly. There he goes. Isn't that, isn't that cute? He came up with that little, uh, let's see if I can make him fly again. Let's see. He flies right into the uh, forward-looking statement. Okay, there we go. Okay, who hasn't seen the forward-looking statement? Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all you're doing. Sushant and team, thank you for uh, organizing these. This, this is an amazing thing you've built here every week, every Saturday, and even some Sundays. That's amazing. So thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for everybody in the community. Thank, thank you to everybody in the um ecosystem we we can't do any of this without you and amazing people so let me answer the question so charlie what the heck do you do at salesforce hint i have the best job and i say yes a lot. i get to say yes a lot so i get to say yes a lot to when a customer would ask can you come visit can you come help me with a workshop can you get this product integrated into Salesforce, which is what I do primarily. I, um, I'll show you some examples in a minute. But what, do I, what I do is I, um, uh, is this blocking my, see, is this my way? Can you see the, uh, the whole thing here? Is this blocking or can you see this? Um, this? This guy looks like me, that's not me really, okay? That's, uh, should I click that? Don't lie, Charlie. Huh? <laughs> Don't lie, it's you, I, I guess. <laughs> Okay, should I click that picture or not? Oh wait, I clicked it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not me. That's that. Okay. Anyway, so that's what I do at Salesforce. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, and that's not me either, right there. That's another Dreamforce. That's Iori. Does anybody, everybody know? Don't click. Should I not click that one? By the way, this is all on Twitter. That's why you don't want to follow me on Twitter. Nobody was dancing, so I had to get everybody dancing, right? Yeah. That's Apex and the Limit. Has anybody heard? Know, is the sound coming out over here? Can you hear the music playing or not? Is yes, yes. Out? Yes, okay. yes. Oh, how unfortunate for you that you're hearing the music. <laughs> By the way, I told I told you I was going to have to wake myself up. Um, so I'm I'm in the process of waking myself up right now. That's what I'm doing here. Okay, so I didn't click that one. Okay, so this is my favorite one coming up next. Um, that person right there, that's not really me. Does anybody? Does this look familiar to anybody? Where is this? Do you know where that is? 
That was Trailhead DX Thanks. India. Yeah. Yeah. That's not me right there. That's not me. Okay, so who who on the call was in that crowd? Anybody? Was anybody in that crowd? Or are you all working? Nobody? We don't have anybody that was at Trailhead DX in that crowd dancing with Yeah, me. actually I was in the crowd, but uh, okay. uh, far back okay. in the crowd, yeah. Far back. Yeah, yeah they made me go up to the front. Okay, so um, there, that woke me up. But I really, so seriously, I miss India. I have been, I went early in the year and I went late last year, of course, for this. And I've been working on the, uh, we have this initiative that I'm working on with uh, Berkeley Haas School of Business. It's called Smart Village. And uh, every time I go, I try to do a little bit of work on that, but um, this is the, uh, the, the future trail bla bla blazers challenge, the pitch fest. Mm -hmm. That was really fun with the kids. That was at Trailhead DX, India. And here's some pictures from uh, some fond memories. And these are all on Twitter. So I don't know if anybody on the phone uh, was any in any of these pictures but yeah uh, i was i was in a picture in, in your previous slide oh really there you go let's see where are you go oh, yeah. go back go back uh, one slide more okay yeah. oh you, you're in the in the flag slide yes yes you see yeah. in the front uh wearing a spec oh yeah okay yep. yeah there you go <laughs> okay and then uh so Anyway, yeah, they made me lie down in front. I don't know why. I I was tired anyway. So, oh, this was crazy. We were um, remember those books that they had pass books where you had to get a stamp, mm -hmm. and we got mobbed. So anyway, we're trying to stamp all those books. Okay, so let's get into the serious part of this now. So really, what do I do at Salesforce? Um, I do Internet of Things. And Internet of Things now has evolved as Salesforce where um, it's primarily process builder and flow builder. And it's moving more, most of my projects now are, are mainly flow builder. Okay, so Lightning Flow. Hopefully most of you on the phone have been exposed to Lightning Flow. And I have a slide on that, that Lightning Flow is my IoT hammer and everything looks like a nail to me. Okay, and I'll show you why in a minute. But um, the ways we get, it's all about devices, okay? So um, there's a device, like this is a cargo container monitor. I don't know if you can see my video here. This will go on top of a cargo container or inside of a cargo container. It's got a solar panel on it. So it works better when it's on top. Um, but this does G-Shock. Uh, acceleration, it'll do temperature. And so there, I just dropped it. Guess what? That generated a case and service cloud. So that there's a GSM, um, this will connect up through the cellu cellular network. And it, uh, I'll show you the architecture behind this, but it basically, sends a platform event into, uh, into Salesforce. So the ways we get the device data into Salesforce are through platform events, um, connect to external endpoints through Apex Actions. Uh, MuleSoft is amazing. Oh my gosh. If you've ever played with MuleSoft, uh, I just did a project on MuleSoft that I can't really talk about yet. I can't, it, cause it's going to be announced in Dreamforce. Um, but I was collaborating with another individual and we were sharing our any point exchange uh, code back and forth. And all you need to do is dump your, uh, your jar file, right? You export your jar and then email it to your colleague and they import it into their own any point exchange uh, workbench and 
they've got the same code. It's really, it's really cool. And you can, they expand it and send it back to me. So we got a lot of um, work done in a short period of time. And then plus we have modular components uh, and we call it an API led approach. I'm sure, have you had, a, um, Sushant, have you had a, uh, a talk on uh, MuleSoft yet? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Charlie. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, and uh, guys, it's an update for you as well. So in December, uh, we are planning to have a MuleSoft series, and we are so uh, luck lucky. Uh, 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 our uh, dev relation team helping us uh, in uh, planning this uh, series, and uh, uh, good news is that uh, architects from MuleSoft itself uh, they are going to deliver these sessions. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Keep uh, watching our website. Uh, in December, you will get a, a very good a series of, uh, on MuleSoft. Okay, very cool. So I mentioned Apex. Now, when you go into, um, this is like a, the basic architecture slash architecture diagram, right? So you have your connected cargo container over here. This happens to be a PCR and a COVID-19 PCR tester that I was uh, integrating in for a customer. Um, that's why that picture is in there. But it'll go through a hub and then see so if connectivity over here, we call this the first mile. Some, some people call it the first mile, some people call it the last mile. But so it's basically the device. And by the way, Salesforce doesn't build hardware, right? Um, we don't build communication. And we don't like to, oops, I've got the customer name in there. <laughs> Oops, forgot to take that out. Okay, so you didn't see that. Does anybody work for Thermo Fisher on the call right now? Um, it's actually Fisher Scientific, right? So uh, they're one of our customers, so I can, they probably wouldn't mind if I showed this anyway. Um, but so they have their own IoT cloud right here. And that's the model typically with our customers. So they take the data and the events in and they aggregate it and then they filter it because we don't want a billion events per day from a customer. We don't even want millions of events per day. We could handle them, but we, we want more like a thousand events per day. We want anomaly events, right? We want, um, if this has an error code 25 over here on this PCR tester, we want to uh, be able to take an action like create a case in service cloud, right? Or if this is getting low on, um, consumables, right? It needs more chemicals or whatever. Um, maybe you um, dispatch someone to fill it back up. Or maybe you, um, if it's a jacuzzi hot tub, maybe you send a marketing message and say, hey, you're, it looks like your water is getting cloudy. So you should um, buy more chlorine tablets for your hot tub, right? Uh, or maybe you need a new filter because your filter life is too old. So you send them a push notification from Marketing Cloud and uh, you put them on a, a journey like that, a Marketing Cloud journey builder journey that um, allows you to upsell and cross sell them. So the idea here is you have these events coming in, they go through our REST API and you got MuleSoft, Heroku, Apex Endpoint, these you saw from the previous picture down here. Um, but once you get it in here, the sky's the limit, right? You've got the whole uh, Salesforce 360 behind you because you could basically leverage anything. Once you get it into a, a lightning flow, you could do anything with it that you want to do with it, right? You can, you can even send it back out somewhere through an Apex connector, right? Or, um, you can send it into Heroku through Heroku Connect. Um, you can send it through MuleSoft, right? Or you can push stuff in through MuleSoft too. So it's amazing the, the power of what you can do once you get um, a device like this connected up. So um, I've been focusing lately and lately meaning since like March, <laughs> right, since our COVID shutdown, I've been focusing a lot on COVID-19 use cases and COVID-19 use cases um, typically, uh, by the way, we launched this work.com product, right? 
Have you, uh, have you all been briefed on work.com and what that does? Sushant, it has, uh, have you had a presentation yet on uh, work? You've probably heard about it, right? The get, uh, the get back to work uh, functionality we've got built in. Yes, uh, uh, we heard about it, uh, uh, but didn't get a chance to currently to, to okay. explore it. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a three hour presentation right now on work. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. I'll spare you. So basically, um, we have customers that are, are leveraging this to, and, and they build this so rapidly. Um, they built it on our platform. Uh, and as you all know, you could build stuff very quickly on our platform. So they just leveraged the power of our platform with some partners to do things like, so we already had a, um, I, I, by the way, these circles here are ones that I focus on for IoT. But let me tell you, since you really haven't been exposed yet to work.com very much, um, Shift planning, for example, that's, uh, we've got lightning scheduler, right? Our field service lightning scheduler built in um, that allows you to schedule field service engineers and things like that. So we just repurposed that for shift management and planning. Um, volunteer gr grants, that's just an app running on Salesforce. But things like the employee wellness check. Um, we have customers now that uh, before you go into work, you have to get scheduled, right? Because you don't want everybody showing up at once because you need a social distance. And before, uh, while you're scheduled, you get, the first thing that happens is you get an email with a survey in it, right? And now why is that circled for me? So you can fill out the survey on your mobile phone or you can walk into a lobby of Salesforce Tower and you can uh, walk up to a kiosk and the kiosk, is a connected device, right? So you can, you, you fill out the, the, um, the questionnaire on the kiosk, or guess what, even better, we're experimenting with um, motion. Uh, okay, did you um, have a temperature? Did you have a fever in the last 24 hours? Yes or no? Right hand is yes, left hand is no, right? So you could do things like that without having to touch the, the touch screen because you don't want people touching stuff, right? Um, and we, we have customers who in some cases they can't use their, their employees are not allowed to use their mobile phones. That's why there's a kiosk. So also connected to that kiosk might be, oh shoot, what did I do with it? I was gonna show it to you all. Um, anyway, you've seen these temperature scanners, right? Um, I've got a FLIR device that I lost. I don't know what I did with it. It's on my, that's the problem with having so many devices. I lose everything on my desk. Um, but you, there's a FLIR infrared camera, for example, thermal imaging camera, and you can hook that up to a kiosk and you walk in and it'll take your temperature or they have some devices we've integrated and experimented with. I'll show you, I've got a picture of this in a minute here that I'll show you. Um, but that's part of the wellness check too. And then we've got a command center over here where you can integrate in uh, things like automated contact tracing that connects to uh, manual contact tracing. We've got built-in contact tracing uh, in work.com, but I've got uh, companies, now where's my other sensor? Oh, here we go. Um, this is a, uh, a beacon device, an RFID device. It talks to a, um, to a Wi-Fi in the building. And when I have two of them, so let's say here's, uh, here's Mary and here's Joe, and when they get too close together, then uh, it triggers an alert saying they're, in, uh, they're not social distancing, right? So uh, when Mary is, uh, reports herself as being uh, COVID-19 positive, then we're able to automatically generate a list of all the people she was in close contact with. So that's automated contact tracing. So we've got some use cases. We've got like, I'll show you a couple of those in a minute too. Anyway, so this is the um, overarching uh, work.com slide. And these ones that are circled here are ones that I've got uh, like emergency response management, flood, ton of carry. We did flood water management. When the hurricane hit, um, they had floods and they were able to tell in advance that the flooding was gonna occur because they had wastewater management sensors that they hooked up to Salesforce. 
Okay, so here's an automatic uh, contact tracing use case. Um, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is, um, I believe this, we did this for uh, a Navy project in the United States. Um, but that's a beacon ID, it's hard to see, but it says HYVR dash not, so that's a beacon ID. And you wanna keep the data anonymous, right? Because you don't want to, um, when you do a, a dump, you don't want to, um, to know that Mary came in contact with all these people and infected all these people. So that's confidential information. So what happens is um, this is the data that we get, and this is a Tableau uh, desktop view, uh, or what are we calling it now? We're calling it um, Tableau CRM, I guess we're calling it, right? Um, which includes Einstein and everything else. So um, you've got this beacon ID and it came in contact with all these other beacon IDs. But what's Salesforce really good at, right? You can build a lookup table in Salesforce. And if you have an employee object um, and you store your employee uh, information in Health Cloud, because this can be considered to be HIPAA data, right? So in the United States, we have this thing called HIPAA where it's patient privacy, right? Um, if you take that and put that into an employee Salesforce object, you could do a cross-reference lookup and know that, you know, that happens to be Bob and that's Bill and that's um, uh, John or whatever, right? So um, you could do your map and that helps the manual contact tracer fill in the blanks for who Mary has been in contact with. So these are just examples of reports. So here's the, um, this is my colleague, Joe Andalina, and there, there's his wife. Um, and there's a little FLIR device I was telling you about right there. Um, so you hook the FLIR up to a, uh, the, your standard iPhone, or a, this could be a kiosk. He's got a kiosk in his hand there. And it's taking her temperature and then doing what we call the attestation, right? Filling in the answer that uh, the temperature part of her answer. So she knows, so the company knows that she doesn't have a fever when she walks in. And then here's another one. This is a Cognos device. And we actually tested the Cognos device in Salesforce Tower in San Francisco. And um, <laughs> when we tested it, we had it hooked up in, a, in our, um, uh, the director of facilities engineering's uh, living room. So that's him walking around the living room. We were pushing the data in real time into Salesforce. And there's a flow. So here's a lightning flow that you can't see, but um, I'll kind of point to it and tell you how it kind of works. So the event comes in and with winter 21, it's really cool. No, wait, summer 21. Yeah, whatever. The last release, it's GA now. You can, um, you can uh, launch a flow with a platform event and you can launch a flow with a record change and you can launch a flow with, um, with the REST API. So there are three ways you could push um, IoT data into and launch a flow. And as I mentioned, flow is my IoT hammer and everything looks like a nail. Um, and so the, it comes in, uh, in this case, let's say I'm provisioning a new uh, FLIR thermal imaging camera. Uh, it gets the event, it checks the asset table in Salesforce. There's a standard object called asset and it looks in the asset object and does it exist? Yes or no. If it exists, then just go process the temperature. If the temperature is too high, then um, create a work order to get a COVID-19 test, okay? But if the temperature is okay, everything's fine, just log it, right? Because it, for compliance reasons, our customers have to log that we took this, this woman's temperature and she was okay and she went to work. But if the asset doesn't exist, then create the new asset. So it's doing auto provisioning of that device. So you'll see, this is a pretty standard um, flow and customers are completely blown away when I'm able to build um, you know, a prototype for them in a matter of minutes, literally, because I'll just take a, um, we have flow templates, right? Oh, 
I just copy and paste this flow template. And now I have a new IoT POC use case running. So, um, and I usually use a Heroku server um, because like these guys, for example, uh, they don't have um, some of these companies. I'll show you a list of the companies that I've integrated to. They don't always have a robust OAuth handshake API uh, built in. So, and to get into Salesforce, um, you need to do an OAuth handshake from the outside world. So if you're gonna send an event in, um, everybody probably already knows this on the phone, but um, you need to do an OAuth handshake. But uh, instead of us relying on our vendors or the vendors that we integrate to like Fleur or Cognis, we'll say, okay, don't worry, um, give us, your API document and we'll build, we'll spin up a little Heroku server to call your REST API until you get your act together, right? Well, we don't tell them that. They have to get their act together, but we, anyway. So here's a, um, here's another, the proximity tracer thing. It's called an AB way, the one that I held up and same thing, right? And this one is going through AWS. So I've got a, an AWS Lambda function that um, does the OAuth handshake and then pushes the events in from this AB way um, tracker. And this also measures temperature too. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool device. This is called the density.io people counter and you can hang it over the doorway. It's completely anonymized. It doesn't, um, by the way, some of our customers are freaked out by this because um, this does facial recognition too and face, facial scanning. And some customers don't like that, right? They're worried about um, their employees' privacy or employees are worried about their own privacy. So anything that scans a face, people don't like that, right? Some customers don't like that. So um, scanning the top of someone's head, uh, although I argue that my bald head here would probably mess it up. But um, when you walk into a room, it counts you and it increases the counter. When you walk out of the room, it decreases the counter, right? So um, there's actually a package on the App Exchange that's a Salesforce Labs package that they built that will accommodate this use case for, um, and that's a social distancing use case, right? So you don't want too many people in your restaurant. Okay. By the way, how much time do I have? Like 15 more minutes, right? Or how much, 10 minutes maybe? We answer some questions too? Yes, yes, uh, we have uh, uh, 20 minutes so now. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I go 10 minutes and we can get... Uh, does anybody have any questions so far? Um, or, or should I wait till the end or what should I do? We have one question from uh, Jagdeep, which cloud uh, will we be using to store data from the devices? Oh, that's a great question. Okay, so um, depending on how much volume you have and how much you wanna charge your customer, no, <laughs> how much you need to pay, um, uh, for small event use cases, you can store it right in uh, a, a standard object or a custom object. Um, but we have some companies like um, Bosch, for example, they, they have an elevator use case and they have a significant number of events coming in, they're using big data objects, okay? So you can store it there. The other thing you could do is you can, um, you can filter, like I was showing in the architecture diagram here, um, back here. The idea, you can store the data here and only send the anomalies in, right? So that's typically what we do. We don't want, um, the storage requirements don't get grow too much because you're only sending, um, anomaly events in like, oh, I've got an error code 123, so create a case. So you, you create a case in Service Cloud. And how many companies do you know that are creating thousands of cases per day, right? There are not very many companies that are generating thousands of trouble tickets or cases a day. So, okay, let me go on, cause I'm gonna, um, and I'll, I'll ask for questions at, at the end there. Um, so I'm working with a lot of badging companies and that they also have um, some technology that allows you to do uh, social distancing 
and automated contact tracing too. We did a pilot with them at a um, financial services company. But this is uh, Joe Andalina again. There's his daughter. And he actually built a uh, microcontroller that goes in this. I don't know if you can see this, but this is like a um, this cloud. This is a cloud that turns red. And as he, he walks up to his daughter's workstation, it, it turns yellow and then red. Um, so here is a, um, this is called an aura ring. Actually, I've got one on. And the NBA, the National Basketball Association in the United States and NASCAR, the, the racing, the car racing uh, association, they bought these for their athletes um, and drivers so that they can monitor their, um, their, their health. And this will, do, th this will uh, monitor temperature, your body temperature and your heart rate. And they came up with an algorithm to measure or not whether you're coming down with COVID. Um, so that's what, we did an integration into Salesforce with this. And I just tweeted about this today, by the way, um, because uh, Mark Benioff uh, really likes this company. And I think, uh, he retweeted that. So I replied to it and said, hey, if anybody wants uh, integration uh, code to the Aura Ring, let me know because I've got it. Um, this is a washing station, you know, same, a similar flow use case. Uh, you come up to the washing station, it, it counts how many seconds you've been washing your hands. And then, um, okay, here's weather integration data, you know, integrating weather. I've got, a, um, I already talked about that. Here's a, uh, a parking meter use case. Um, this is a company called Unified Parking and they've got um, this parking meter. This is a smart parking meter that allows you to control it from your mobile phone, but this is hooked to Salesforce and they, they send the payment information into Salesforce and they build graphs. Do I have the graphs in here? Let's see. Um, no, I don't have the graphs for that. Um, but they could tell when the revenue drops off from a, um, from a parking meter that it's probably broken, right? So they dispatch the field technician if the revenue is zero or if they get a card reader error, um, then they'll dispatch someone through field service lightning to go fix the uh, parking meter. Um, and there's the flow for that one. Um, this is an agricultural use case and the cool thing about this is here's a Tableau desktop. By the way, I love Tableau visualizations. So it's good. You're going to see Einstein analytics. Uh, I think he said either tomorrow or next week. Um, but you're able to, with IoT data, you could do some really cool visualizations. And what's interesting about this one, uh, by the way, this is an agricultural project that is a solar uh, panel based uh, monitoring system. And you've got Anima, anima, anemometer with you know wind speed right here, and you've got uh, humidity, you've got temperature, and then you've got soil moisture at the bottom, and like leaf wetness and solar radiation. So I don't know if you can see these uh, from where you're sitting, but um, these are interesting little flat lines here. So the humidity. It, it'd be very rare if it were that steady for that period of time, right? Same thing with the wind speed, right? You'll see some flat lines on the wind speed. Um, so what was happening was the uh, solar panel, the radiation level would drop and it wouldn't charge the battery and the battery would start to die. And that's why you see these cutouts right here. There's a cutout right there. So they were able to determine that using um, Einstein discovery, but it, it sounds like you've already been briefed on Einstein discovery, but their outcome was that cases were being created um, or in this, actually this case, they said the outcome was um, the flat line was happening. So there were um, consecutive flat readings on humidity and consecutive flat readings on temperature. And um, that would be the outcome. And then they determined what was causing that. And it turned out to be uh, the solar radiation dropping at, um, to below a certain level. And they were able to tell how long before 
um, they're going to lose their battery, that type of thing. Anyway, so you could do interesting things with um, with Einstein discovery and with uh, the data, the magnitude, large magnitude of data that's being generated by IoT. So here are some, some of these are um, fully baked and some of these are not so baked. Uh, these are integrations from some of the platform partners and some of them are official partners and some of them are like informal, we tried it and it works, so ship it basically, right? Or get an SI partner, um, a systems integration partner, uh, like Aperio, I don't know, is Aperio on the call or any SI partners on the call? Um, you could pick up one of my integrations that we've done in our, in our group and you can go deploy it. So an example, AT&T, they have this thing called IoT data flow. Um, they actually put a Salesforce button on at ts IoT data flow that does an OAuth handshake into Salesforce and then um, makes REST API calls. So that's what we like to see. Cisco's working on that. Um, Cisco Jasper, we, we built our own integration for that. Uh, you saw Vodafone, um, Sierra Wireless, Telstra. Okay, Siemens and Lighted, you, this is, um, we integrated to, uh, they make sensors and buildings. So occupancy sensors and temperature sensors, power sensors. And we, um, the first integration we did for them was in Salesforce Tower, but we just signed an agreement, a partnership with them. And they actually have a, uh, a vehicle <laughs> driving around. I think they, they put it on hold. They put the project on hold because of COVID, but they built a vehicle with sensors in it um, that, uh, simulate a building and show an integration in, in the Salesforce. But um, so it's multiple sensors being integrated. And we've got more and more companies that are doing that. There's a company in Australia, I don't even have them on the list, called Sense Agent that's doing something similar. So we've done robots, we've done um, electric amp, uh, we did. Bosch is on here for connected tools, but we've also done, uh, they've got an elevator project. Um, I'm going to show you the connected vehicle one because that's pretty cool. I think you'll like that. Um, Juniper Mist. Okay, so there are other um, technologies. And I, I kind of uh, skipped over Cisco uh, CKC. Where is that right there? That's for connected cities. So they do parking, they do... Um, everything from power to um, like at town of Cary, we did parking with them and we also did some wastewater management town of Cary. Um, so, and the main, like if you, if you really think about uh, the popular IOT platforms, you're talking about these three, like AWS, GCP and Azure. So those are the three that you really think about um, when you think about true IOT platforms. But then um, let me show you one, one other one here, another show and tell. Hopefully you can see this. This is a Metasante uh, blood pressure de device. And the use case here, of course, is remote patient monitoring. So what you do is you, uh, you throw this in a box, you go to uh, a pharmacy and they you say, oh, you need remote patient monitoring, okay, sign up with your doctor and they ship you this box that comes in and um, comes in with uh, instructions. I, I put it on and then I just push the button. This is uh, cell phone connected. So here, I'm just gonna push the button because I'm running out of time. So if I push the button here, uh, so this is, um, pumping up and it's going to fail. But I don't know if you can see at the very top. Oh, right now it's, yeah, it's very angry at me because I don't have anything plugged in right. There we go. <laughs> anyway, so you get the idea. So this communicates up, so you got an error one, right? Okay, there's a great example of, this has got a, a chip in it that is communicating into the cell, the cell phone network here. 
And that just created a case in Service Cloud with error one. And uh, that's going through their Metasante IoT cloud network. And we have an integration through the REST API into a uh, lightning flow. So that is Metasante. Um, so let me show you one more thing and then I'll go into questions because I'm running out of time. So look at my clock here. This, uh, we, we launched this, this is a really fun project to work on. Uh, and this is an example of what you could do. This is the power of our platform, our Salesforce platform, because this goes across uh, multiple different clouds and it, um, it shows what you, you can do uh, when you get uh, multiple companies together with, with really bright people. So, um, and there's a video, you could probably uh, Google, um, I don't know if you know Vala Offshore, he's, uh, he works at Salesforce. He's got like half a million followers on Twitter. I've got like 30,000 followers, you know, it's a laugh compared to him. Um, but he uh, recorded a really cool video uh, of this demonstration at the Consumer Electronics Show of Harman's, we called it Workforce on Wheels. But the bottom line is you, you go in here and you sit in the car and you say, um, show me my accounts. Uh, what's my next best account to visit, right? And it, this actually went, went out and did a query into Salesforce and brought the top three accounts. You can see these numbers here. It, it, it should, let me see if I have a better slide on this. Yeah, here we go. So there's a Salesforce account. There's the opportunity size and there's a probability of close. So this is just calling sales cloud basically saying, bring my, um, do a geo search for the closest accounts near, nearest me with, and, and rank them by opportunity size and probability of close, right? So then, oh, by the way, I'm, my customer uh, likes coffee. So uh, pick up coffee on my road. So, um, we established a marketplace relationship with specific vendors. And we did for this demonstration, we used coffee, Starbucks coffee and uh, 800 flowers. So a flower vendor to send a gift basket for a successful product launch for a customer. So, um, but what this did, this did the same thing. So their speech to text interface went into their IOT cloud and made a call into through our Heroku server, which sent the event into Lightning Flow. And I'll show you that how that works. Here it is right here. So here's the uh, vehicle head unit. And their, the name of their platform is called the Harman Ignite IoT platform. And they, they processed uh, the connectivity. They did the, uh, built the rules engine and vehicle management and telemetry data. And all they had to do is make a REST API call. And we came up with a scheme on what the JSON payload looks like back and forth. And then um, say do an HTTP uh, get or a post. And so we split it into two. The commerce functions went into one function and the, um, the standard force.com functions went into another function. And then that went into two separate lightning flows. Actually, I fed it into one lightning flow. And then it just invoked the functionality in the back. So um, showing my accounts would go down through here, through this path. Um, it would do a, a SOSL query, right? Um, for using geo coordinates for wherever the vehicle was. And then it would bring back the list and it would just generate a JSON payload. And then, uh, it would push it back to the Harman and Ignite platform and render it in the head unit. So, like I said before, if you um, if you get an event into here, the sky's the limit. You can do pretty much anything you want. You you want to send out to commerce. You want to order a cup of coffee. You want to um, send a market trigger a marketing journey. Um, all you need to do is get the event in there and then trigger all the activities on the backhand side. And then of course you got Community Cloud. Oh, by the way, ignore this Salesforce confidential. Um, just don't, yeah, don't tweet this, but. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm getting myself into trouble. So these, this is the functionality we got into, and I'm running out of time. I should ask for questions, right? Um, this is these are the functions that we put in there, like send an SMS to my customer, uh, take take me to my uh, to John Smith at Acme Incorporated. So that would just parse that text coming in to the vehicle. Um, it would do a lookup in Acme Incorporated for John Smith. Simple as that, right? Um, and then this is the Commerce Cloud. This is using um, Cloud Craze, right? Um, so standard uh, e-commerce functionality on Salesforce. Um, that's what the, all I wanted to talk about. And now I, I wanna um, leave time for questions. Do I have enough time for questions? Or did I get messed up here? No, yes, we have a question. So, uh, participants, if you have any questions uh, to Charlie, you can put in the chat uh, box and uh, Charlie will answer them. Let's see, where is the chat box? So, we have one funny question from Jason. Uh, does the washing station also sing happy birthday? <laughs> <laughs> no, we should add that feature, though. That's a good idea. I think I'll add that. Is it so they do that in um, was that someone from India asking that question because that's the United States thing I, th I thought or do they do the same thing in India <laughs> it's from it's from uh, Jason oh okay yeah well, yeah well okay I'll expect that <laughs> what are you doing up so late are you uh, what what city are you in are you you're not on the east coast right Anyway, it doesn't matter. Jason, Jason you, can, uh, you can speak now. I unmute. Oh, OK. Howdy. Oh. I'm Phoenix, oh, Arizona. Oh, you're in Arizona. OK, so it's not so bad. But it's still pretty late there. Yeah, but it's Phoenix. It's the city where the sun never sleeps. So there we go. There we go. <laughs> it's always sunny in Phoenix. <laughs> OK, so I'm trying to find the chat box. I can't see any chat. Um, Guys, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, uh, put in a chat box. Or you can let me go to sleep. That'd be fine, too. <laughs> One question from Gautam. As a student, if we want to practice and learn IoT Cloud, is it free? Oh, OK, so that's, that's the really good news. Um, it's free um, unless you drive the volume to the point where it's not free anymore. If you exceed the REST API lim limits. Um, so basically IoT now, the new strategy for IoT is Salesforce. We used to have this thing called IoT Cloud, right? That we charged a lot of money for because it scaled to billions of events. Um, and then we uh, changed the strategy to leverage Lightning Flow instead. And Lightning Flow is built on your platform, right? It's already built into force.com. So you don't have to pay for it. So it's basically free, but um, if you start to blow away the REST API limits, you're gonna get charged for it. Or if you, um, you can get charged for it if you exceed the storage limits. So those are the two things you that are not free. Does that answer your question? Yes, so uh, uh, Charlie, I uh, have one more question. Uh, I think uh, you have uh, one uh, event in November, uh, so. Can you uh, explain about this to our participants, uh, how they can join that initiative? The November initiative in the, I guess in December you are planning, oh, oh, right? Uh, the, the November? Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want to, uh, oh, you want to join my initiative? You want to donate to my cause? Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to do it yourself? Do you want to grow your own you have, mustache? You, <laughs> no, no, no. You have planned one initiative, right? I guess uh, uh, yeah. in, in December. If I'm not wrong. Oh no! So I'm. I plan on shaving in December. Okay, but I got yeah, one. I got one mail also from uh, like maybe uh, I uh, like uh, combined two different things. Maybe my bad. Uh... I'm. I'm not really sure. Let Let me show you the. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Am I screen sharing right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's, it's telling me I'm a legend. There we go. There's my, my Movember page. Uh -huh. 
so it, if you go to uh, us.movember.com, you probably have one for India too, but it benefits um, men's health. So it's very biased. It's very discriminatory. It's, it's for men's health. Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of women's causes too that I support, like Black Girls Code and Girls Who Code. So I, um, I just don't focus on, I, I, I focus on more than just men's causes. But that's, um, if you want to go to sign up, just go to Movember.com. And if you want to donate to my uh, cause, you don't need to donate. I, I, I don't like to solicit. I've already made my goal, so you don't need to donate to my uh, I'm not a very good salesperson, am I? I'm telling you not that everything is free and you shouldn't donate to me. But um, I realize this is a very tough time for everybody. So there's, there's the Movember site. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Uh, no, I think uh, we are a good uh, uh, for now, uh, one just one comment I want to read from Jason. It's look like you stop halfway, only the top of your head is shaved. We can uh, share it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm not going to talk about shaving anymore. That's it. <laughs> well, that's it, I'm done. But I will shave in December. I, I December 1st, it, this is coming off. My awesome. wife. It's a mandate for my wife. Mm. All right. So I think uh, it's too late for uh, both of you, Jason and Charlie. Uh, so we won't take too much of time. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining. Uh, and thank you so much, Charlie, for uh, sharing uh, these awesome things. Uh, very unique things, uh, like uh, uh, hardly uh, we can go deep in uh, IoT things uh, here in India. But thanks to you. Uh, to bring this to us uh, and thank you so much uh, all the participants uh, for joining and having this awesome session today and thanks for inviting me and i promised i won't dance in front of you again i'll try not <laughs> to do that all right all okay. right thank you thanks everyone thanks bye, for everybody. joining stay safe stay healthy day. yeah okay bye, you everyone. too bye